VMware Explorer Barcelona 2023. I am here with uh, Michal Pevek from uh, Xorux, the Czech company, interviewed by Czech blogger, but the interview is in English, of course. So, Michal, can you tell us more about your new upcoming product, please? Okay, so we already in the latest stage of the of the creating the Xormon NG, which will be the new version of our tools, merging together LPAR to RD and Store to RD into one single tool with new backend, new front end, many new possibilities how to work with the data, how to filter data, how to show the data, uh, export, create reports native API and so on, so the tool will be available on the beginning of the next year, already the, the beta version is, is uh, available, so you can download and try already right now. Okay, maybe we can uh, have a look at the screen and you can show us some demo and uh, tell us more about uh, how this product can help VMware admins, for example, to detect some let's say noisy VMs, VMs which consume a lot of IOPS or where we can see where we have a hardware problem for example for some sun switch which can we be alerted. Okay, so in, in such case you can just go to the server section, select the VMware and if you have some issue on some data store, you can just select this specific data store and check what's going on on this data store. There is the specific section which gives you the information about how many IOPS is consumed by each single specific VM. And over there it's already pre-sorted by the highest value, so you can very easily find which VM is the, the most consuming the resources and stuff like this, which is very quick and easy to, to find. Uh, in the new version, you can immediately, for example, export the content of the graph as a CSV file for some further usage. Uh, you can filter as you need it by some highest value or lowest value on IO read, IO write as needed and even you can uh, you can filter or load just some uh, some items you would like to like top top 10 uh, vms in let's say maximum maximum uh, maximum load okay show us some demo from the storage which we talked earlier yeah and in case you have any issue on the fiber channel network uh, you can just go to the to the overall view of all switches go to the frame section and see the number of frames going back and forth on the switch uh, which is or all switches which is completely fine but there is also some stuff like the buffer to buffer credits crc errors uh, link fail or whatever metric you can be interested in case there is something wrong on the fiber channel Area network, and then uh, uh, you can find what's going on. And then, uh, if you find anything unusual, you can just click on the switch and go directly to the menu to the to the same switch, same metric, and see the see the things what's what's wrong on the switch. And the benefit is that you can also set up the alert. So and you can define the alert per specific port or even on the whole switch. So in case there is any link fail or any buffer to buffer credit increase on specific switch, you can get the notification, which is really beneficial and you can know immediately when something went wrong. Excellent, excellent. Uh, I think it's pretty good for a first time demo with the beta version. Thank you, Mike, Michael. You're welcome. Thank you.